Sure. Yeah. I'm Bill Cody. I was here last year. Yeah. And yeah. We talked about the buttercream and stuff. Yes. And uh, <laughs> so we'd love to hear your insights about uh, obviously just desserts. And you're always mentioning um, uh, uh, Chef 101 on the show. What are some of your ideas that. Oh, what's 101? Yes. Okay. What should they have in their bag of treats? Oh, okay, sure. Yeah. All right. Where do I begin? Um, well, I guess introduce yourself. Okay, great. I'm Gail Simmons from Bravo's Top Chef, Top Chef Just Desserts, and Food Wine Magazine. I'm thrilled to be at the Food Wine All Star Weekend in Las Vegas, my second time here. And I'm just thrilled to be hosting it with so much incredible talent. So many top chefs have come back. It's a bit of a reunion for us, which is pretty great. Um, and of course, all the incredible chefs from both Bellagio and Aria properties that are here with us. Um, so, what can I say about desserts? Top Chef's just Desserts finale airs next Wednesday night. We're very excited, and I think that you will be too to watch. It is the most stressful and extraordinary finale we've ever had, so that's going to be really exciting. So, since we're in Vegas, what are your, who's your number one favorite? I can't tell you that, because you have to wait and see. Um, they're all my favorites, and there's a lot of incredible talent in Vegas. Not just... You know, all the amazing chefs, but the pastry chefs in Vegas, I think, more so than in a lot of places in the country, get to sort of stretch their skills even more um, because there's so many huge properties that do so many big events and there's so much room to play and there's so much incredible things that you can do with pastry that really you don't have a chance to do in a regular restaurant every day. Just so right here in Aria. At Aria, at, at Jean Philippe, it's unbelievable and that's a perfect example. You know, I think that Vegas pastry chefs are often just so, so um, sort of in command of their crafts because they really get to do a lot that most major chefs in other parts of the country just don't have a chance to do. They have the opportunity, the money, the, you know, the budget to do it. So, Chef 101, I would say Chef 101, if you're a pastry chef and you want to be serious with what you do, you need to know the basics. You need to know how to make you know, every dough, a sable, a, um, a brise, um, a sucre, obviously, but without fail. You need to know how to make, you know, all of those basic things, caramel, ice creams, um, obviously chocolate, tempering chocolate, spinning sugar, um, molding sugar, all of these things that, um, you know, are, are difficult tasks that take many, many years of study and hard work. This Halloween, are you going to be making any chocolate showpieces or anything like um, that? I will not be personally making chocolate showpieces because I am not a pastry chef. I have pastry chef made them um, but I will eat them. Um, no, Halloween actually for me is about sort of nostalgia, and um, so I always love, you know, having the chance to eat all that really nostalgic candy that you don't get to kind of eat any other time of year. Well, we appreciate it and look forward to Top Thank Chef you. just Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.